Hey guys, glad to have you watching. In this video I will be showing you a beautiful ant colony and I will be hosting a giveaway to my 1k subscribers on YouTube. So make sure to stick around. This is my Campanotus Sanctus. I wanted to show their old setup, but while filming I noticed they were able to cross the barrier. So I'll do this a little bit different this time. This is their old setup and their new setup. Basically their tubs and tubes get a little bit bigger and will be made from glass for better visibility. This might look big, but these ants grow very fast, are very active and are everywhere in the setup. And as you can see, the colony doesn't hesitate to explore some more, and feeding them was getting difficult. This beautiful colony is coming from Antcor, and they were doing very great from the start. The ants have a beautiful and light coloration, which makes the inside of their gaster very good visible. The tip of their gaster is dark, and the workers itself are brownish slash orange. The majors in the colony are almost completely black on the top. These majors are bigger and stronger and will help the colony with the bigger challenges they will face. Usually the bigger workers and the majors stay close to the tubes and the queen and will provide us as food storage. But the majors in this colony are helping actively. And yes, you do see them feeding the other workers a lot. But they are outside of their comfort zones as well, working their butts off for the colony. I wanted to make a 30 minute time lapse, showing that the ants will respond to the food very quickly. But my vibrations is also something they will respond to. I wanted to show that the colony packs up really tight around the queen, while some workers scout out the area and grab some of the food. Usually it takes about 10 minutes before the majors hop in and decide to help. But my battery went dead before that was even happening. Nonetheless you are able to see that the ants respond very quickly and are not shy at all. I tried again with some colorful sugar water to make up for my failure as a compensation. But the ants weren't feeling it and I can imagine they have had plenty of beetle jelly. But the ants that do seem to be hungry enough turn into beautiful ants with a red gaster and a black tip. And I'm loving it. Just like my other colonies, these ladies will receive roaches as a protein source. And every once in a while they will receive a cricket. Look how pretty they are. They look somewhat like my fetching koi, but they are a lot more active. Filming the queen was another challenge. Like I mentioned, the ants respond to vibrations and will peck around the queen as soon as they feel any. So getting some shots from the beautiful colored queen was asking for quite some patience. I had to sit still for a very long time before the ants were moving away from the queen and I could make some shots of the scratchy and dusty tube. When the ants are not scavenging for food or protecting the queen, they are covering the brood. Normally, if I see the ants this close, I assume they would like a higher humidity, and I tried, but no response. The colony seems to be doing well, and is growing at a steady pace. I'll keep an eye out, but for now, things are looking pretty optimistic, and I assume this colony will grow in my top 5 for next year. As a Campanotus fan, I'd say this about a lot of ants, but I could highly recommend getting a Sanctus colony. Besides the fact that they look absolutely amazing, they're very pleasing to spectate as well, being so beautiful and active. Please make sure to reach out to Antcor on Instagram if you would like to know more. I have multiple colonies from him and the quality has always been great. Due to the 1k subscribers on YouTube, I will host a giveaway. I think 1k in a year is an awesome achievement and I'm very proud to have you guys. I will make a short extra video and will be posting it in a few days. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to get a notification. And in my upcoming regular video, I will show you every new colony and queen from this summer that I haven't shown before, so make sure to stick around. You could help me out a lot by leaving a like and a comment. 
The algorithm seems to love interaction, and so do I. For now, I would like to thank you all for watching, and I'm hoping to see you all in the next video. Bye bye!